Hey guys, so today I am doing the obligatory yurt craft review that every cloth pad YouTube channel has. So I just figured we'd get this out of the way early. Um, I still have, I think, less than 20 videos up, so I'll do my yurt craft review to get it out of the way. I know everybody has a yurt craft review. Um, my son is playing a video game right now, and apparently he's excited. So forgive me if you hear the background noise. Um, so I wanted to do this review because I'm actually de-stashing one of these pads and I wanted to get this done before this guy went off to its new home. Um, so Yurtcraft. Yurtcraft is a shop on Etsy. Um, Yurtcraft is probably one of the most well-known um, and even maybe highly regarded cloth pad makers out there. Um, and there's a reason for it. Yurtcraft produces amazing pads. Um, the shape on these, just before I snap this one, um, it has a rounded uh, flare on, on each side. They're always symmetrical. Um, all of her patterns have even length um, in the front and the back. And then she does the triangular wing. Um, her pads are all turned and top stitched. And um, they all have this decorative, can you see the, the wavy stitch, the stitch here, um, to attach the core to the topper. Um, the sewing is amazing. Um, there are essentially zero mistakes on these. I mean, you can tell that they're made by a person, but I mean, it's just spot on. Um, the, the quality on these is amazing. Um, she uses really high quality materials too. Um, she uses WinPro as her backer. Um, and I believe she uses um, the bamboo. Um, organic bamboo as her core. Um, I will correct that below if I am wrong. Um, but the the thing that makes these so great is that her pads are consistent. It's not that she has a couple of good ones mixed in with a couple that maybe are a little so-so. All of her pads are just made amazingly well. And she has a lot of really fun toppers too. Um, and I think her kind of famous topper is the recycle print that she uses a lot um but i mean you could just tell i mean they're fun and she she does a combination of like cutesy prints um like these two along with um you know just everything from like science prints to um there's a jellyfish print that she had a while back that i loved um just tons of variety in her toppers and variety in lengths that's another reason why your craft is amazing they have like 16 inch pads and, and five inch pads and everything in between. And you can get a variety of absorbencies in every length. So um, it's really a shop that I recommend. I know everyone recommends Yurt Craft, but there's a reason for it. And I think that Yurt Craft deserves a place in everyone's stash. Um, but I also did just mention that I'm de-stashing one. So let me explain why. Um, Every pad works for someone, and every pad will not work for someone. So the human body is different, and every woman needs a slightly different shape or size of pad. Um, and everyone has their own particularities in undergarment choices. So based on my body and the types of undergarments that I choose to wear, with the Yurtcraft style, I need a longer pad. So this is a 10.5 inch and then this one, when purchased, was a 9.25. So after using it twice, um, it is now closer to 9 inches rather than 9.25. Um, but this one is just too short for me. Um, it kind of bunches in an awkward way just because it's a little too short. So I have decided that I will be stocking up on the Yurtcraft pads in a 10.5 or maybe even a 12.5 um, for my overnight stuff. Um, and not going any shorter than that, just because of the way that the flare fits in the gusset of my underwear, this length just doesn't really work. It's still an amazing pad, and a pad that I'm kind of sad to be getting rid of, but um, I just need something a little longer. So I know that now, trial and error, and um, I was able to, uh, to de-stash this one to a new home, um, and I think I'm actually headed to the post office here within the next couple minutes, so this one is really saying goodbye here pretty soon. Um, but, you know, hopefully she'll stock this print again and I'll be able to get it in this length instead. Um, so yeah, again, I mean, just the high, high quality, um, the absorbencies are accurate, I feel, based on how she um, posts them. A moderate is a moderate, for me at least. A heavy is a heavy, for me at least. Um, 
And I just think, you know, if, if you have the ability to purchase her pads, um, I think they're reasonably priced, they're really high quality, and there's a reason why everyone does a Yurtcraft review, um, because Yurtcraft is amazing. So my obligatory Yurtcraft review is done. This uh, 9.25 pad is off to a new home, whereas my 10 and a half will be sticking around, and um, I'll definitely be adding more Yurtcraft to my stash in the future. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon.